We began tonight with a horrific crime alert. A Sims mother and her two children are dead. The Mobile County Sheriff says their father and estranged husband of the mother made the horrific discovery this morning in their home on Evergreen Court and called 911. Tonight, the Sheriff's Office is investigating two unthinkable scenarios. All three were murdered or the mother murdered her own children, then took her own life. NBC 15's Andrea Ramey is live in Sims with the latest details on this case. Andrea. Kim, the victims were just six and two years old. The sheriff says their heinous murders happened inside this home. It's two babies. Sheriff Paul Birch struggling to comprehend how anyone could kill two children. Heartbreak felt by neighbors who knew six-year-old Mia and two-year-old Jacob Johnson. Probably her and the kids, huh? Birch says the children and their 37 year old mother, Nancy Johnson, were found dead this morning in their Sims home. You know, at this point, we can't say whether you know, she's been murdered or, or suicide. That part's still under investigation. Birch described the scene as gruesome and horrific. He believes Mia tried to defend herself. I would say she put up a fight. Birch says the children were killed in a different manner than their mother, but did not disclose how they were killed only saying they had not been shot. And they had both told me they were going through a divorce and was getting ugly and all that, but I didn't know it would go to this. So. The estranged husband, Derek Johnson, filed for divorce twice this year, the first time in April. The couple reconciled in June, but he filed again for divorce in August, accused Nancy of leaving with the children and petitioned the court to see her psychiatric records. Earlier this month, Sims police arrested Derek for violating a protection from abuse order. Several different times with the um, Sims police officers. They've been in and out. We've been over here numerous times for domestics and um, she, she's called numerous times concerned for her children's welfare. Uh, there is an active PFA out of the state of Utah. Uh, the sheriff says that Derek Johnson was living in this camper in the couple's backyard here. Birch says that Derek did call 911 this morning, stayed on scene throughout the day, and is cooperating with authorities. Reporting tonight in Sims, Andrea Ramey, NBC 15 News.